Okay, is this convergent or divergent? Well, if I remember correctly, um, well, first we should look at where the issue is, is that zero. So we need to look at integrating from L to one log x dx. And um, integration of log, we can use the by parts rule here. I think it's x log x minus x, x log x minus x. You can get that from by parts. Um, so if you put in the one, you'll get zero minus one. And if you put in the L, you'll get L log L minus L. So what's that equal to? L minus one minus L log L. Okay, that's L times log L. Right, so if we now look at the limit, So the limit as L goes to zero from the right, L to one log X dx, that will equal the limit as L goes to zero from the right of this. So that's interesting. That's interesting because that will be zero, so that's fine. That'll be minus one, so that's fine. But the question is here, what will this be? Because the L is going to zero, the uh, log L is going to minus infinity. So the question now becomes, which will happen faster? Um, yes, okay, so we have to examine this piece now in more detail. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so I was thinking about this and I was going to use L'Hopital's rule, but I feel like for this lab question, be more appropriate to use a, a, a more elementary method. Um, this will be zero, but I think what I'll do is I'll make that tomorrow's question, proof that the limit here is zero. So this will equal, this will equal zero minus one um, minus zero, which will equal minus one. So therefore it's convergent, the integration from zero to one log x dx equals minus one. Um, if you're wondering what is happening here, if you think about the graph, uh, there's x, there's y, there's zero, there's one, log of one is zero. The graph goes like this. So it would seem that this area here uh, will total up to one unit and the minus because it's on the x-axis. So let's make it tomorrow's question, the limit of x log x as x goes to zero from the right.